Hey there. Well, today I got some pawpaw sitting right out here in front of me. I have a young man uh, who made contact with me a while back ago. Uh, he found me on uh, YouTube. I uh, got on uh, Facebook and he sent me a, a message through Messenger and uh, went from there. He's come down today. We're going to introduce him to Paul Pauls. He's never had Paul Paul before. And uh, hopefully he'll like them. And let me go ahead and bring him over here. Jason, would you come over here, please? This is Jason Lackner. How you doing, young man? Good. How are you today, Jim? I'm doing all right. Well, got you a nice one right here. This is right here. The varieties that I have here is a mixture of varieties. It came from a family member's house, and they, uh, there's no way of telling what variety is what, right? He's got his own particular varieties, but he never kept track of what varieties were what varieties. That being said, they're still good pawpaws. We cut this one in half. They're very, very soft. That nair is extremely ready to eat. Now, what does it smell like? To me, it smells sort of like a pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's got a melony, uh, mango. Tell you what to do. Here's the way I do this. I'll scrape the seed to get some of the pulp, which you got some is already off the pulp, and then you just kind of scoop under there, and you put that, I always take it like this, and put it in my mouth, and I just roll it around in my mouth. I peel the, uh, the pulp off the seed, and then I just take the seed back out. And stick it on the towel there. Your reaction? Oh, let me get it. There's just a little bit on that one. Mmm. Such a unique flavor. Mm-hmm. So what? What do you think about it? <laughs> it's uh, it's difficult to describe for me, but it definitely has a. A nice texture to it, a soft, mm -hmm. really soft texture. Like a soft banana, I guess. Um, and there's just that, I can't describe the note behind it, of the flavor. It's delicious though. Mm hmm. What I find unique about these trees is, is it's a tropical type fruit and usually tropical type fruits they grow southern but these they grow in the north uh, they do really well in this area and uh, north central Ohio and what we got is, is a fruit that's been around for probably thousands of years and not a lot of people have had their hands in on these fruits. Uh, as far as cultivation, you have a lot of other uh, fruits in the United States. It's not indigenous to the United States, but this right here is indigenous to the United States. And they're, it's a fruit that you know, you're not going to find them in a the market because they're so delicate. They're just, they bruise very, very easily. And having a hard time getting the pulp off that seed. Throw it in the tickets. But, anyways, so. Was it what you expected? Uh, it's better than what I expected. I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. You always hear the rumors about them, but it's definitely it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, it's exciting. 
Now I can't wait for my trees to start producing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're different, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one right there you got in your hand, it being round like it is, that could be a Davis or that could be an overlease. Uh, it's hard to say uh, what one you got in your hand there. They're, you know, the different varieties that are in here, they have different tastes. But basically a pawpaw is a pawpaw is a pawpaw, in my personal opinion. Now I have a wild tree over there that has fruit in it. And the aftertaste of that wild variety uh, is, has a bitterness to it. And... Uh, but they're still good nonetheless, you know. It's just that aftertaste on that wild variety, it's just kind of, I, I get a bitterness out of it, you know. But anyways, that, that being said, Jason here is going to help me uh, today as far as uh, I got a tree I'm going to transplant. I got the holes dug up, everything all prepared. And, it's going to take more than just me to be able to get that tree moved, and I appreciate you coming down to give me a hand. No problem. But uh, <coughs> maybe it'll be a learning experience for you anyways. Yes, absolutely. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Jason, I thank you for coming down. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.